Hey everybody. Um, as you said, my name is Lindsay Agnew, and I graduated from Lindsay Law School in 2009. I spent four glorious years here at LWC, and it was an experience that impacted the rest of my life. Uh, and the successes that I've been able to enjoy have been all um, attributed to the people in my life, and uh, some of those people are right here at Lindsay Wilson College. Um, Lindsay Wilson offered me a lot of things. Um, it allowed me to do a lot of things, to be a lot of things, but one thing it did not allow me to be is comfortable. All aspects of my being were challenged here. I was challenged intellectually, socially, relationally, and spiritually. The people of Lindsay Wilson provided me with skills to succeed in a real world environment. Um, and that real world environment, once you graduate, often has a way of smacking you in the face. Um, because of the environment and atmosphere that makes Lindsay Wilson uh, what it is, I was able to transition into real life as a big girl very well. I didn't have a lot of trouble. Um, and I had a few successes along the way so far. While at Lindsay Wilson, as he said, I double majored in middle grades, um, math education, and Christian ministry. Since my graduation, I have had the privilege of pursuing my career as a teacher, and this is my fifth year teaching seventh grade math, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Um, I am currently wrapping up my master's degree in school counseling, and then I'll be pursuing a rank one in that as well. So I'm super thankful to do what I love and get paid for it. That is a total blessing. Um, the Christian ministries part, I don't really get paid for, but because of the foundation that I got here in the community that I received here um, spiritually, I am now involved in an excellent church that provides me with um, healthy relationships and um, is full of believers who kind of help me along my uh, way with the Lord. And that's essential for me in daily successes. Um, I also just moved into my new house that I co-designed and had built, which I'm insanely excited about, and it's really, really cute. Um, so, um, and being a Begley scholar, I got my, my school paid for, so that helped me, you know, kind of save some money and actually uh, build a house of my own. Um, so while at Lindsay Wilson, I was also a part of an exceptional group of people that I'm so blessed to have been around, and he mentioned this as well, the Begley Scholar Program. I learned to never be stagnant, that there is always more to see, to do, to experience, and to taste. I learned to be thankful for where I am and what I have, but to always press in for more. More knowledge, more experience, more culture, more of the Lord, more of whatever I wanted to pursue. And so now, because of that, I have a passion for traveling. And my career teaching allows me to go wherever I want or wherever my wallet lets me um, in the summers. And I get to enjoy life that way as well. So at 27, I have a career that I've always wanted. I'm exactly where I want to be. I have a great church. I'm living in my brand new adorable house that I designed exactly for my eclectic taste, and I get to spend my summer traveling. I'm so blessed, but what now? This tenacity and hunger for more that I developed as a result of the experiences at Lindsay Wilson has had me thinking about what successes my future holds. I've achieved a lot of what I thought I wanted for my entire life, so I wondered, do I just chill for the next 25 years teaching math and studying, you know, what I want to in the summertime and learn to knit or what's next. So during this dilemma, I thought about the constant conversation that I have with my students. And remember, they're seventh graders. So. With my middle schoolers, I'm always asking them, and you have to pull it out of them. Give me a little bit more. Stretch your brains a little bit more. Grow your brains a little bit more. Think bigger. And they always say to me, Ms. Agnew, why do you care? You get paid the same either way, which is true. Um, and I continually remind them, and I have the saying, I want my ceiling to be your floor. I want my highest achievement to be the basis and the foundation of what you do with your life. I want the highlights of being a teacher, a leader, a woman, a Christian, and a human being to serve as a platform for where you can go next. I want my ceiling to be your floor. I always tell them to dream big, bigger than yourself, bigger than your lifetime to dream generationally, legacy stuff. But be willing to put your hand to what is in front of you. Dream big, but be willing to take the baby steps that get you there. And then the revelation came. I could actually apply this to my own life. I used to think that my calling or purpose in life was to teach